Hello guys and welcome to a new video in my Minecraft how to build series. Today we're coming back to a very old and dear flat world of mine where I showed my first builds on this channel actually and um, we are going to build a church today which is located in the back of the village right here. This is the church that we are going to do. This church has a very nice outside but also quite a nice inside if I may say so myself. So let me just turn around and show you what it looks like. And especially the, the interesting thing about this one is the choice of acacia for roofing which makes it nice and, and standing out and, and a bit different than normal. As you can see the inside has also been done very well with lots of detail also in the tower and just, you know, gorgeous woodwork in the roof, which I really enjoyed making. And finally also some kind of altar place, which looks quite religious, right? So, this is going to be a two-parter, because making this um, church is quite a lot of work. And you can see it's quite big. And it will probably be a video of 30 to 40 minutes only for the outside. So, in this first video, I will be showing you the outside. And then there's going to be a second part in a week or two where I will be showing you how to build the inside. So you can look forward to that already, but for now we will start building this beautiful church. All right, so let's get building. First of all, the footprint of the building. Let's start in the front. This is the front and this is where the tower is, the clock tower. And if we start in this corner, there's a gap of so you first place acacia log and then there's a gap one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block you place a stone block, then you go again one, two, three, another stone block, and then again one, two, three, four, and then acacia. So this is the front wall, and this is the width of the tower. So now the depth, which is one, two, three, and then stone, and then again here one, two, three, and stone. So this is a small square, which is the tower. Now let's count how many blocks is in between these it is 1 2 17 so there are 17 blocks between that acacia log and the acacia log in the back corner and then again there is 1 2 3 uh, empty here and then there's a stone wall and then there's 1 2 3 4 5 and another stone wall and then 1 2 3 and then again this corner so this is the back wall and then again 17 blocks in between this co the, the corner in the front and the corner in the back and then there's this small thing in the back which is that thing there um, and we count it from this block we have one two then one stone then diagonal one acacia log and another stone then this way one empty stone acacia diagonal stone and then again two empty and then you have the footprint of the building it's going to be this big and this is where we start Second step is building a bit of framework and height into the building. Let's start in the front again. Um, and first with the acacia pillars in the corner. These have to go up by six blocks in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And the same thing in every corner. One, two, three, four, six. All right, six. So that is how high the main bulk of the building will be. Then. These acacia logs in the back will be a bit lower, they will only be 5 blocks. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There you go. And now for the tower in the front. This will be a bit more complicated because it has 3 different materials in, in the corners. So it starts here in the front corner and we go up by 1 block of stone bricks. Then we place cobblestone and then we place chiseled stone brick. Then above this we place one, two, three stone bricks, and then one chiseled stone brick, then another one, two, three stone bricks, and then one cobblestone. And this is the full, well, this is the height of the lower part of the tower. So the same thing for this, this corner, it is stone brick, then cobblestone, chiseled, then three, two, three stone bricks, then chiseled, then one, two, three, and another cobblestone, and this is the height of the lower part of the tower. So now let's fill in the rest of the walls of this tower. We'll be starting on the side. It starts quite simple. This is just stone like this, then a layer of cobblestone, and then two layers of normal stone like this, and then acacia log going from there to there, only three blocks. Then 
the uh, five layers of stone brick so one two three four five all the way up to there and then finally cobblestone on the top the same thing on this side so stone cobblestone and on the final part cobblestone like this now in the front it's a bit different first it's stone then it's cobblestone then it's stone all the way to the top except the top part is just cobblestone like this and then we're not gonna do the middle part yet because that's different and then the other side here is exactly the same as this side so stone cobblestone then stone all the way to the top except the last one which is cobblestone again and now we sort of have the tower already so now let's put on the top of the tower which is made mostly out of acacia logs first of all we want the beam going across here but it's going to be diagonally in front of the cobblestone by one so we want the beam to be like this one two three four five all the way from one side to the other side exactly in this place then we also want a beam going this way but now only one two three four like this it just stops there same on the other side one two three four then we also want to extend the beam going upwards by one two three and one two three and then there's also a beam here but it only goes up by one two because there's going to be the roof above this the same here one and two and then on the other side we want one two up there and one two up here and then again one two three four five this way and then again one two three and one two three like this and then to finish it up we only want to put a beam across from there to there and a beam from there to there so it's going to be from here like this one two three four five and the same in the front it's going to be one two three four five and there we go that's the full shape of the tower so now we're going to work on the walls going all around the building and we're going to do um, one layer at a time all the way around so then I can explain easily what you have to do first of all it's the very simple part is the lowest layer which is stone bricks going all the way around the whole perimeter that we just laid out all the way just like this and in the back it will just con connect everything all the way around like this and just finish this layer around till the end the next layer is cobblestone and this is going to be a bit more complicated because we're also going to add the bottom of windows so first of all i will add a layer going around till there and then one block from the corner i want to place an acacia log going outwards like this there's going to be a window on top of this later on then we continue oops around with the cobblestone and we go from this corner one two three then there's going to be another window there then one two three four another window one two three four another window and again one two three and in those holes for the windows you will just add an acacia log sticking out like this now we come to the back and we place one cobblestone then another window with acacia then more cobblestone going all the way around like this cobblestone here one stair here for the window is going to be here and then the other side is exactly the same as this side so it's going to be around here one window and then the same measurements as on this side for the rest so now we go on to the third layer first of all we place a stone brick in here and then a chisel stone brick in this corner here then another stone brick on both sides of the window and then dark gray or i mean gray um, pane for the lower half of this window then around the corner we simply place stone bricks like this then white for this window and then again one stone brick like this and then a chisel stone brick like that two more stone bricks white for the window two more stone bricks and then another one chisel stone brick stone brick white for the window whoops and then one two three stone bricks like this and then around the corner this is going to be gray for the window and then simply connect this up to there then i want to add a stone brick stair here for the window it's going to be there another stone brick there and then here stone brick white again stone brick and then stone brick a stair and stone bricks then here it's going to be gray stone brick and you just continue the same design until the end there the same as on the other side so just to recap it's going to be one stone brick and then chisel stone and then on the other side of this window one two there's also chisel stone and the rest is just going to be 
stone bricks except for the block here which is also going to be chiseled stone and then the window in front is grey the next layer is going to be an easy one it will be stone bricks all the way except for where there's windows on this window on the front we want to put a white then the other windows these are, are low windows so they're only one high so just stone bricks on the back we also want to put white and then only on this part I want to put a red pane there a red window there and a red window there and then the rest is the same as on the other side so it's just simply a layer of stone bricks going all the way around like this which is really easy now we've already put in all the windows and all the other details just continuing all the way around like that connecting the windows and continuing here so it's going to be white on top and white on top there and the rest is just going to be stone bricks all the way the next layer is also going to be easy we simply want to add on top of these double windows we want to add another acacia lock to top it off facing outwards like this and the same there in the back and there and there and then the rest is simply going to be stone bricks again so all the way around all the way around to the other side like this on top of this one another one of the acacia logs facing outwards and then just simply fill this in with stone bricks all the way around and then the other side is the same as this side now let's take a look at the wall in front here below the roof this is quite simple first just add another layer of stone bricks all the way to the corner then another layer of stone bricks but one difference in this place the same as here we're going to add one chisel stone brick and then another layer but this one is going to be one shorter because there's going to be the roof and then the other one is another one shorter another one shorter and there we go all the way to the top this is the shape of the roof the same thing on the other side so now let's look at the back walls this is going to be a bit different because we also have the small dome that's going to be here first of all we add a layer of stone here going one two three four then we add another layer going one two three four five and then we go in by one because the roof is going to be here and going all the way to one two then on the third one chisel stone brick and then four and five like this then we add another layer going one two three and then on the fourth one chisel stone brick and then another one like this the same on the other side so one two three four then the same place one two three four five then going one in one two third one chisel stone brick then four five and then one more in one two three and then chisel stone brick like this and you should have a symmetrical pattern like that and now it's simply a matter of acacia stone acacia and stone just layers on top of each other so first here acacia going all the way over like this and every time we go one shorter on both sides so, so this is acacia then we have a layer of stone going like this then we have another layer of acacia one two three and then finally a layer of stone and this is the roof or I mean actually the shape of the roof but the wall in the back and now to finish all of the wall work we're also going to fill in this hole here I start just by adding a block of gravel on the bottom and a door on top and then it's quite simple we add stone brick stairs upside down like this then we leave a hole of the slab and then we place one another hole two three and four slabs and then it's um, a stair going there iron bars and another stair going like this and then finally cobblestone on top there and now this is all the wall work done so now we will fill in the walls in the upper part of the clock tower it's quite simple we'll fill them in with white wool and gray wool and we'll just mix this in a random fashion so let's first start let's go from the inside and start in this bit it's just two by two and then you can place them just together in any way you want you could use only white but i always like to put in a bit of gray to give it a bit more definition then on the back it's also just three by three just filling in one back from the acacia logs going all the way like this and then the same on the other side like that and in the front it's a bit different because in the middle we will be placing a redstone lamp which will be the middle of the clock so this could look like this and then a lamp here 
and then as the pointers of the clock I use um, dark oak fences like this in any way you like and then I also added some light grey stained paints in the holes in between to give it a bit more depth and then finally on the back of the lamp I just add a lever like this and there you go you have the clock in the tower done okay so now let's start with the small dome on the back of the church you will need stone brick stairs cobblestone stairs stone brick slabs and cobblestone slabs for this let's start with the stone brick stairs on the first layer it's one stair another stair then a stone brick slab and then one higher again a cobblestone slab like this you can delete this or just keep it there it doesn't really matter that much right now and then on the other side the same so stone brick slab and two stairs below so that's the first bit second bit is with cobblestone stairs then a stone brick slab and then a cobblestone slab like that and the same on the other side so stone brick slab and cobblestone stairs like this now let's go from the middle here we also use cobblestone so one stair then another stair and the underside is not important right now and then finally a slab at this height and there we go that's the main shape now for these middle bits we add one stair and then another stair curved in like that same on the other side one stair and then another stair curved in like this and then the same here so we add one stair and then another stair curved in and we also have to add a slab beneath here and the same on this side curved in stair and then a slab beneath here and then finally a stair like that and then on this point we add a stair facing this way and a stair facing that way and then finally inside there we add a slab like that and a slab like this and there you go you have the dome finished from the outside before we start adding the beautiful orange roof on top of this church I will work on all the layers of details on the walls so let's start with our stone brick stairs, which you're going to place on the corners here and also on the inside corner like this of the tower and the same on the other side. And we will also place them on the corners here. So one there and one there and also below where the chiseled brick is. So one here, again, one here and then another one on these both of these corners. Then another stair in this corner facing the outcropping and then stairs facing the acacia log and then a stair below this window and the same for the other side so facing the acacia log inside towards the outcropping then the acacia log again and there we go we've gone round with all the stairs second step is adding stairs combined with polished and the side on top of this tower because now it looks very flat and we will change that right now so we place a stair like this then polished and the side then another stair like that and then again here stair like this polished and the side another stair like that and cobblestone stairs the same thing on this side of the corner and then the same thing on that corner on this corner so here again above here we add upside down polished and normal upside down polished and normal and then cobblestone stairs and then in this corner it's a bit different because we go less high and also I made one mistake this stair which I placed here should actually be facing the main thing but the rest of all the stairs down here are the same as, as, as I said before so now here we're going to add a upside down stair polished and the side and a normal stair and then on top of this chiseled upside down stair and one polished and the side and we stop there because there's the roof going to be here the same thing on this side will also be done on the other side of the tower and now we will add some cobblestone walls all around the building first of all in these corners here all around the tower like this then second, on the inside of this and side, in the front, like this, here, there and here. And then on the back, only on this side of the and side, like this. And the same thing on this side, in here and in there. Then on the sides, next to every stone brick stair, but only on the sides. So not in this corner, but actually only there, here, there, here, there, oops. And there, and the same thing on the other side of the church. So now we will add some support struts for the roofing with acacia logs and cobblestone stairs. First of all on the front we want to add one going one up from this window so here and then on top acacia log there. And then again the same here 
on this pillar goes on stair like this and then acacia log like that same on the other side on the sides of the building it's a bit different first one inside from this pillar and then we count up one two three and on the fourth block we add upside down cobblestone stair and acacia log like this the same thing everywhere where there's this chiseled stone so upside down acacia upside down acacia and then also one inside again here upside down and acacia and the same thing on the other side and then on the back side it's also different we start from here we add an upside down and then acacia then we skip one and we go to the next one and then we add another upside down and acacia which just ends at the same height of the, the wall itself another one upside down and acacia and then one more in the middle here upside down and acacia so it's one gap one gap and then a gap of two and the same on the other side and on the side wall here so the back wall should look like this and the side wall should look like this and now for the acacia fences first we place two inside here like this we also place one there and one up here and the same on the other side and then in these corners we also place fences like this and that and that's it for the front on the back it's a bit different first we place three fences like this and I just saw that I made one mistake because this shouldn't be three high but only two high so this one is actually one lower than the point of the roof so it should be like this so two fences cobblestone and acacia and then also we place a fence inside here and inside there so now for the stone buttons and the trap doors first of all the stone buttons you place them on the face of all of the andesite blocks on the tower everywhere like this and then we also add some stone buttons on the sides everywhere where there's this chisel we place one stone button beneath like that and the same thing on the other side then the oak trap doors the oak trap doors we will place in the height of this chisel stone block but then in the middle here and there and the same thing on this layer and the same thing on the other side of the tower and we'll also place them on the height of these chiseled just next to this part here and the same on this layer then finally we place them on the side of these windows you know they can add as a bit of protection you can close them if you want well not really but it looks like you can close them and the same thing on the other side now some more buttons first oak buttons we will place them on this corner and here and the same on the side but not on the back and the same on the other side here in these corners and finally we also want to place a stone button in there and on the other side a stone button in there then for the final detailing on the back i want to add some cobblestone walls above these stone brick stairs here one and two same on the other side one and two i also want to add some cobblestone stairs first in this corner facing the building then also here facing the acacia log same on this side and in the corner facing the building and then beneath all of these i want to add an acacia fence like this and now the final final bit before we start really building the roof is just adding two slabs here and one slab here and the same on the other side one slab there and two slabs there like this and now we've done all the walls all the detailing and the tower and we only have to slap on the roof and the outside of the church is finished all right so let's start building the large part of the roof first and this is actually quite complicated so make sure you follow what i say first of all let's start building with a the outlining of the roof as you can see it's different material than the inside of the roof and the outlining is red sandstone stairs the inside is acacia stairs so let's start here with one stair and then i want to add another one like this there this is where the roof is going to go all the way up there now this is going to be red sandstone going all the way this way but then on the inside here upside down it's going to be acacia from there so only the outside bit is actually red sandstone so let me just continue to show you what i mean outside bit is red sandstone so this is red sandstone and then from the inside one inside and one up is going to be acacia like this so that's how it's going to be 
and we start with it hanging one out from the supports we added but actually on the back and on the front it doesn't stick out from the supports there. So now let's continue building here we add another red sandstone there, sandstone there, sandstone there, just all the way up like this and then actually I don't place upside down stairs here but I only place slab here because otherwise it will connect with the stair that's supporting it. Now here I can actually add upside down stairs like this so now it just keeps going all the way up like this then on top of this block I want an upside down stair like this and then finally simply just a slab like that and then behind it it's going to be acacia for the roof. Let's do the other side again so I'm starting here I go down by one and then I also go all the way this way with the red sandstone but on the inside I will be placing and also upside down in here because that's just how the roof is going to go acacia stairs like this and actually one more down down in here if I can get there and there and then this is also going to be acacia all the way to the end there and now we can just continue by building stairs all the way up here and adding upside down stair normal stair upside down stair normal stair and then finally a slab here a slab there and this is how the roof is going to look on the back side now the roof is going to continue all the way to the clock tower so here we can just oops pull a line all the way here like this and there simple like that and the same thing here so this roof is going to continue all the way here to the clock tower to the front of the church and it stops just here at the same place as where this is and now we're going to build up the same way as on that side so stairs like this all the way up and then in here it can be upside down stair upside down stair like that and inside here is going to be acacia like this all the way there but beneath here I want a slab like that so it doesn't connect to this and now we just continue with upside down stair normal stair upside down stair and normal stair and it simply ends there now the same thing can be done on the other side of the roof but there's also another thing that's different in this roof because it's actually not all the way slabs, uh, stairs like this, acacia, but there's actually another orange stripe going in the middle here. So it starts here and it actually goes up in a different way than the rest of the roof normally goes up. So let's build it as well. Upside down, send some stair in there and then another stair like this. So we have one stair, two stairs. Now I will be adding, let's just place a block like this there. I will be adding a full block like that. Then I will add on top of this a stair like this. And then upside down stair there, slab like that. And now we just continue with stairs, oops, like this. So one stair, you can delete this slab, another stair. So let, let's just look at this again. It's stair, stair, block, stair, slab, stair, stair. And then after two stairs again, it's going to be a block and then a stair and then a slab and then again stair but then actually we're already there let me just place the stair in the right place and should be like this and then this is also going to be a red sandstone slab so now there's this very strange shape but when I add in the full roof it will make a bit of sense let's do this on the other side as well and let's just put an upside down stair there so on the other side also here let's first continue this row all right so we are here upside down on top of this window here in the middle of the church so we have stair stair and now we add in a full block and then a stair on top then a slab and then another stair there and a second stair so now we have stair stair block stair slab stair stair and then again you guessed it block and then stair and then slab and then finally we want a stair here and this is the shape that we're going for now for the rest of the roof it's actually really simple because 
We've done all the outlining, we've done the strange line in the middle, but the rest of the roof is just going to be straightforward, the Casia stairs, running them all the way from one side to the other and just ignoring this strange line in the middle. And once you've finished all of that, and once you've also added this front on the other side in the front, then you are done with the roof. So I will be back in a minute when I've done all of that. One more detail here that I'm coming to now because I'm just filling in these Acacia stairs all the way up. You just have to fill it in just like it would be normally, so just continue it around the tower here. And then it's quite straightforward actually, so it's just going wherever it can, just in the same shape, it just continues all the way up and down. And when you're done with that, it should look just like this. So it's just a nice plain roof with quite interesting edges, which I really like in this design and also with these strange bubbles in the roof. And these bubbles I added just to add a bit of definition and character in the roof, but when it comes to detailing I will come back to that later in the video. First we will finish the last little bit of this church on the outside, which is the roof on the tower. Um, and actually before we even do that there's two small little details that we still have to add on the back here on this wall. One is that we have a cobblestone wall right there and an oak trapdoor there. That's it, that's all. So now let's get building this roof. We start by placing acacia stairs on this block here, like this. And this extends from there all the way over to here. And then there's also a row behind this of upside down acacia stairs there till the front like this. And then we just continue up. We continue up and also out one. And the same happens again. We continue up but also out one. And then we stay in that line. First upside down stair on the same level and then you go up and also you stick it out one by the normal stair. Then upside down stair at the same level. Then you go up one and you stick it out again. And actually these four blocks of Acacia have to be deleted because that's where the roof itself is going to be. Now, the next thing is to go here, and now we're going to stay in this level. We go up one more, and then finally we add an upside down stair here. And let's do the same thing on the other side first. So, just to recap, you have a normal stair, upside down stair, next to the pillar of two high that is here. And then we have another normal stair going there, one more out, then upside down stair, then again normal stair going out, again and then upside down stair the normal stair staying at the same place and upside down stair like this now to finish this point we need to add a slab here with a normal stair on top and then an upside down stair sticking out like this and this is how the point will look it's sticking out quite far in front and then also we want to add a slab here which will go all the way to the other side there so let's do the same thing on this side then, the same on, as on this roof, there's also actually two stripes in this case of sandstone stairs. One stripe is here and the other stripe is, you guessed it, here. And it goes just simply over the top of the roof. So now let's first make this outline on the other side. Now the stripes are just going to be going here and they just continue going up like it normally would. You can just for now just add these blocks here but it doesn't really matter, but just simply to be able to place the roof on top. We're just going to have this stripe of red sandstone stair going all the way over like this and down like that. The same on this side. And now it's just a case of filling in these gaps that are left with the normal acacia stairs. Just connecting this all the way to the other side. Like this and then also in between here just with normal acacia stairs like that. And then when you are finished you should be left with something looking like this there's a couple of things that you should add here down below here you want to add upside down stairs below this just to continue the same line and also just some blocks below there so it fills in nicely and the same on the other side and then finally you want to have upside down stairs here which is quite a hard place to come but you can get there like this and the same thing on the other side and then you are really done with the outside of the church so now it's just time to add a couple of final details on the roofs um, and also a bit down below in the of randomization in the walls which will make 
it have even more depth and more character in the build. So first of all, I like to add in a bit of jungle stairs in here. You know, as just patches of, of, of wood that's been, you know, colored differently by the sun or something. You, you know what I mean. Just to add some randomization. And you can do that anywhere on that roof and on this roof. And it's also nice to have a couple of places where the roof is just a block like this. Where it just sticks out a bit. Um, just to add a bit more detail in there. And then finally, to your liking, you might want to add some small holes in the roof. So for that you can just place a slab in any place you want. Delete one stair and place two slabs like this and then a slab next to that. And you have a small you know, air hole in the roof. And you can add two or three of these on one side if you want or just one. And it just adds a little bit more detail in there. Then also I like to add, which really works well with this roof, um, some oak leaves dangling down like this. Um, just to add a bit of green to the roof and some more detail and some more life into the place like that and Then also what I always do with walls is add in some holes in there. So stairs like this and you see you know, it's just Small holes, you know that you can see ah this building has probably been here for some time and Now you are actually really done and There you have it with the Sun setting now, you know how to build this beautiful little church and there's actually something else to look forward to later on because in two weeks there will be another video coming out showing you how to build this beautiful inside of the church or maybe you want to try it for yourself if you do so please please send me some pictures or something because i would love to see that but that's it for now for this video so i hope you enjoyed it and i hope that it was useful for you please subscribe like and tell me in the comment section what you think what we could maybe do in another video and whether you have any other feedback for my videos so far but for now just have an awesome day and see you later bye bye